Hey there YouTube, what is the crack with you? And uh, today I'm going to make a foot switch for my friend Rolly, EI5KP. He uses a, a Nanan and he's always clicking the transmit on and off at the mouse. And I've been badgering him for ages to uh, start using a foot switch. So uh, similar to the one I have, I'm just making it out of junk I have lying around the place. So we have a few bits of wood cut up and uh, we have a switch little micro switch and we'll make the pedal out of some sheet steel so uh, let's get cracking then so that's going to kind of be the general layout of it and that will be up there like that so I need to get all this fixed together this piece here won't be as wide I'll, I'll cut it down a, a bit it'll have like a, a plate on the front for um, the RCA to go into so uh, We'll mount that inside in here someplace. And when you stomp on the pedal, it'll uh, activate the switch. So let's get going. Right, that's the floor end of it together. So we just have to uh, get on now with the um, with the actual pedal itself, which we'll cut out of this uh, bit of sheet steel. Get the tin snips out and bend it and all of that good stuff. So I've jumped ahead a little bit, as usual, forgot to pick up the camera. So this is all attached together now. And uh, it's a return spring there to push the pedal back up. And the switch is attached there. I put a second screw under here at the washer because it was up too high here. It wouldn't bite into the wood. So there is the pedal. I made it bigger than mine. Uh, it's wider. Uh, it's very comfortable to uh, rest your foot on it. I put some grip tape on that, the same as my own. So I just folded the two sides and the end and uh, there's two holes down there and uh, you get the idea once the two screws are in there it so I just have to make a plate now for this end uh, to cover up all that and it'll have a, an RCA on it that he can make a lead to go to the radio. Right that's uh, painted and drying which won't take long in this nearly 30 degree heat we have and uh, pedal is primed and uh, drying very very fast as well I have to say so uh, almost there and here it is all together this is the finished article and I uh, have the grip tape on it some like a uh, little panel on the end and the RCA I kind of had to take a notch out of the pedal I uh, should have put that a bit lower but these things happen. So, nice neat little foot switch. I'll just put some silicone feet on it. Get that done, hang on. There's the silicone feet on it now. They'll stop it sliding around the place. So, that is another homemade foot switch. I like that one. Came out cool. Um, I just make them as I go. <laughs> kind of figure it out as I go along, you know. Right then, it's uh, a couple of days later and uh, all dried and finished and very happy with that how that came out uh, so much so I made another one for myself more or less identical and uh, the only difference on this one is I wrapped all four edges of the the pedal Whereas in this one, it's only the sides and a bit on the front. So, <clears throat> see, so kept the RCA lower down on that one. I'm just waiting for uh, switches now for it. And here is version one. Uh, that's the first one of this type I made. And uh, I made that about, ooh. Maybe two years ago, and uh, it's a two years of use. A bit dirty, but it still works. This one, uh, as you can see, it's two RCAs now. It's got two switches in it. As I used to um, used to use it to key the amp and the radio. And the way I had it set up, the one switch it keyed the amp first, then the radio uh, to eliminate hot switching. So. Um, that was the first one I made, so um, the only thing I didn't like about it was it wasn't wide enough, which was why I went 
with this kind of size. They're, these are like maybe three times the size of a wah-wah pedal. Uh, anybody that plays a guitar will know what I'm talking about. And um, they're very, very solid on the floor. Like this piece across the front here is about, um, oh, it's a good seven or eight inches, I'd say. So, uh, there you have it. Um, I suppose that's it. But uh, if anybody is interested in uh, having one of these made, let me know. I'd be delighted to make one. Um, once I cover the cost of time and whatnot, uh, the material, not so much. It's all junk, really. But uh, they're very, very good. Uh, very comfortable under your foot. The very, very first foot switch I made um, was something similar to this. Only it came up a bit higher. And it pivoted at the top and the switch was down here. And what ended up happening was you, you had your foot hovering over it all the time like this. Which after a while you started to get a pain in your ankle. Um, with these ones you can rest your foot and the weight of your leg on it. And uh, just hit the pedal and there's no click out of that one because there's no switch in it. You just uh, shift your weight forward and that's it. Job done. So... That little grip tape material on them. And you can see on that one, which is well over a year old, it's still, it gets a bit dirty, but it's still quite good. So that's it. Um, here we go. <laughs> version 1, version 2, version 3. So uh, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, please comment, rate and subscribe. And we'll be back to you in the very near future with another video. This is George, EI7 Kilo Oscar. Bye-bye.